Hi, everybody. I'm Angela. And I'm Christina. And, and we're, we're with, with Burnley, Burnley and Trowbridge. We're so glad you're here today. Today's video is a hack video. It's the second in our hack series, so we're pretty excited about that. You all uh, gave us a lot of suggestions, and we are bringing you a hack on petticoats. So we've been working pretty diligently, putting all of it together. Angela's been doing a lot of sewing to get her petticoat ready. I have. And we're pretty stoked. So uh, yeah, I think it's going to be pretty nice, don't you? Yeah. And it's also for Cocoa Bid. Oh, what's Cocoa Bid? Cocoa Vid. You don't know what Cocoa Vid is? No. Oh, it is an online interactive event that has been put on by the members of the Cost Tube community. And it we decided to do it on the weekend that would have been Costume College because a lot of people were very sad that Costume College was canceled. So we decided that we would produce um, content and run it over the course of the four days that Costume College would have been conducted on. So the community has been doing uploads. Um, there are loads of lives going on, small and little, including our live, which will be this afternoon at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or Eastern Daylight Time. Um, and you guys have to do the conversions for the other places. Um, but anyway, it's lots of videos and there's a huge schedule. Um, it started yesterday, today's Friday, so we're into the second day. Um, and there is a schedule that you can get on Instagram if you go to Cost Tube Guide. They have it in their bio. Or you can go to Noel at Costuming Drama. And both of them have a full schedule in their bio. And I believe we um, put the schedule on our Facebook as well for those of you that are not on Instagram. So without further ado. Is it hack time? It is hack time. Yes. yes. So I was going to be the model, but I decided. She's the boss. I'm the boss. And she's busy. And I'm busy. I decided that Helga could take my place. Would you like to meet Helga? I've talked about her before, and now you get to meet her. She's So lovely. this is Helga. She's my body double. And actually, this form, the pattern comes from Bootstrap. You can look them up online. They have a website, www.bootstrap.com. This one was made for me by my good friend, Twyla Taylor, um, and she's amazing, by the way. I love this. It does so many things that any other mannequin I've had does not do. So without further ado, Helga's going to get a new petticoat. Thanks, Helga. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I'm going to get to work. So, Angela, I'm, I mean, Helga, I'm so sorry. You just... You look almost exactly alike. It's like you're the same person. So a lot of you had wanted to know how do you adjust the hem of your petticoat over something like say a bum or maybe a really petite hoop. Now today's hack is not going to be useful on large hoops. So if you have larger pocket hoops or side hoops, hoops for court wear, this is not the hack for you. You are going to probably want to stay tuned, uh, maybe for some future videos that we might be doing where we'll cover that. Also, uh, I'm going to be using a bum. Is this okay with you, Helga? I'm going to be putting a bum on Helga today, and then I'm going to be taking a silk petticoat, and we're going to be working that over the bum. So I'll demonstrate on the bum, but know that you can do this on the hoop. It's pretty much exactly the same process. You're just going to be adjusting in different places. You're going to look so beautiful. I'm talking to a mannequin. It's okay, right? I've been up for a really long time. She looks great. All right, so at this point, you can see I have a petticoat. Uh, and this was made pretty much following the original petticoat sew along with a few minor modifications. First of all, we've added some length. Uh, so to do that, you're going to want to take a measure. It doesn't have to be a numerical measure. It can be a physical measure. You can use a string or you can use a measuring tape, whatever floats your boat. You're going to measure from, excuse me, Helga, the waist down to where you think the hem will be. I would go ahead and just measure from the waist to the floor, honestly, over the fullest part 
of your support, whether it's the side for hoops, whether it's the bum for your bum. Take that measure, you can add maybe an inch or so for seam allowance if you're feeling really unsure about that, just to give yourself a little bit of extra. And you're gonna seam it up just like you would any other petticoat. You're gonna hem it, seam it, you're gonna pleat it. This is where you're gonna start to see some deviation. So you can see the pleating here. We've actually basted those pleats down quite a bit more than we would recommend you doing on a usual petticoat. This is the front. So you can see we've pleated quite a bit and basted down those pleats quite a bit on the front. A little bit less on the back, but that's because we probably assume we're gonna pull the front up a little bit more than we're gonna pull up the back. So we need those pleats to stay flat. And you'll see when I put this on Helga how that's gonna look. Now, we haven't done anything to the waist yet either. And you can see, I know the pocket holes look like huge right now and you're probably thinking oh my god those are the biggest pocket holes i've ever seen but this is going to make sense why we've done this and what i would actually recommend doing for this next step is taking your pocket holes and basting them closed kind of as high as you can while still being able to get the petticoat on over your body all right so you're going to baste those pocket holes and once they're basted don't forget to grab your waist tapes because we're going to need these as well. So at this point, you have a decision to make going forward. There are two approaches to leveling the hem of a petticoat. And depending on if you have help might determine how you go about doing this. The first way and kind of the tried and true way of the mantua maker in the 18th century is to, well, use your eye. Uh, you could do this by looking in the mirror. You could do this by maybe putting your petticoat on a mannequin and eyeballing the level of the hem. If you don't trust your eyes or if you feel like you haven't developed your eye to that point yet, that's okay because you can also use a measure. Now, I didn't necessarily say a numerical measure because we all know how I feel about measuring tapes, but it can be a physical measure as well. And that's actually what I'm gonna be using today. So I'll show you how to use a paper to make a physical measure, but you can substitute a numerical measuring tape for that just as easily. So let's get started. All right, so you can see that it's actually kind of already finding the spot that it wants to rest right around the waist uh, on the backside. And if I turn her around to the front, the same thing has kind of happened here. So once the petticoat is on, we are going to start in the front. I like to start in the front. You could start in the back if you want to but we're gonna find the center front of the petticoat, which shouldn't be too difficult because you have that nice flat pleat there. Grab your tape and find the center of your tape as well. And we're gonna go ahead and match those up. And then very carefully wrap your tape around to the back and we're gonna go ahead and tie that in place. You wanna keep this nice and flat along that line though. Pull it a little bit taut. It's gonna help you find the waist. Once you have that in place, then we're gonna go ahead and look at the hem to determine the level of the hem that we would like to have. So, oh, let's see. Angela, do you like this length of the hem? Sure, that looks good. Good. Let's go with that then. Now I'm going to use a physical measure to do this. You could certainly use a tape measure for this or just your eyeballs if you prefer. And what I'm gonna do is take my sheet of paper, it can just be a scratch piece of paper. I'm gonna put it down at the bottom of the hem until I match it to uh, the hem itself. So put the paper on the floor, match it to the hem, put a little mark there. And then once you have that mark, we're going to go ahead and fold the paper just like this. And then you can cut it off or tear it off until you have a strip like this. 
Then we're going to use this strip and we'll go all the way around the bottom of the petticoat, pulling at the top until the hem rests just on the top of our paper, and then pinning our tape into the petticoat as we make our way around to secure that hem. All right, so you can see what the final product looks like. I'll go ahead and give Helga a little spin here. And you'll notice she does have a little bit of a dip in the front, which is perfectly fine, like we said. One thing I do want to point out to you all, and this is the reason why we had you baste your pocket holes, is if you'll notice, here where the fronts and backs meet up, we want to make sure that your tapes actually meet up at the same level as well. You might notice if you try this without basing the pocket holes that you end up with the front pocket hole or the back pocket hole maybe longer than the other and you end up with a little bit of a kind of gap or dip in the pocket hole area. If you base them and just make sure that those tapes cross right at that point, then you should have a nice even pocket hole when you wear your petticoat. All right, so once you are done, you are ready to finish the waistband of the petticoat. And to do that, there are a couple of things you can do. You can check out those options in our Petticoat Sew Along on our YouTube channel, but we would recommend for this style to go ahead and use the second method that we talk about where you actually turn the tape back and no tape is visible on the outer. Now with this, you can see that there's quite a bit of fabric still on the top. So you could, uh, if you wanted to, leave that fabric and turn it under. In Angela's case, we'll probably trim some of this off, leaving a little bit. But if you are really uncomfortable with having any kind of unfinished edges on the inside of your petticoat, you could trim the whole thing away turn that under, enclosing that raw edge in the turn, and you would have a completely finished waistline. But it's up to you. Well, Helga, like, what do you think? Looks pretty good. I think she looks lovely. How about you? I think you're qualified to speak for her. I think so. I'm really excited about this. You'll have to stay tuned because later on, way later on, there will be a sack jacket to go with it. All right, everybody, thank you for joining us. We hope that you enjoyed this uh, petticoat hack and that you will join us for more videos in the future. 
Of course, follow us on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Find us on Facebook or Instagram as well. And visit our new website, which has been completely redesigned and showcases all of the great product we have for you all to purchase. And until next time, happy hacking. <laughs> da, 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 da. Boo! Today we're bringing you uh, a new hack video that a lot of... Would you stop laughing at me? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. What? <laughs> Look at the camera. <laughs> we're going to have the best bloopers. No videos, but lots of good bloopers. It's, it's, it's all bloopers. All bloopers, all the time. The all bloopers real. The all bloopers real. Hey, this, we probably get a lot of likes. <laughs> probably. <for that. laughs> oh, and a lot okay. of expletives.